So what Micro, Micronode has done is taken a Raspberry Pi 2 or, or a Raspberry Pi 3 and inverted it on the board so that we can connect to the GPIO and to the USB connector. So what he's added is an onboard power supply. So instead of having to use a 5-volt cube, this takes direct 12 volts DC in, nice clean barrel connector. He's added a console port so that you can manage the Pi without Ethernet. So when you're trying to set up an address, you're trying to make a change, you're not having to look for the node. And then a real-time clock so that the clock is always set, internet connection or not. When the software comes up, it checks the clock. And then once it's connected to the internet, then it grabs the date and time directly from the internet and keeps the clock updated. So then you add two radio ports, two 25-pin connectors with extended I.O. So not only do you have all the standard signals, COS, PTT, CTCSS, transmit audio, receive audio, but you also have access to the GPIO pins on the Pi for other applications so that you can switch back and forth. Then last but not least, we add two displays. So you can be displaying the status of the nodes and you may want to be over on this more than since this one is not live. So you've got two displays that are available to you. Now right now on the uh, right display, we're displaying the all-star node status. We've got two nodes operating on this board and we're showing the status of the node in real time. On the left display, we're also running the MMDVM software, so we're displaying the MMDVM data of the node, in this case, the MMDVM. And it is displaying on this left display in real time. As far as web interface, we're using Almon to display the status of the all-star nodes. <laughs> and we're using the D MMDVM dashboard to display the status in real time of the MMDVM. Oh, wait, whoa, I got one more piece. So we have DMR GUI which allows us to do one of two things, either to manage the MMDVM in real time to make changes to the talk groups, the time slices, the, the IDs and such, and also DMR GUI is capable of operating DMR on the Pi without a radio. Plug a mic, a speaker, and you get on uh, Brandmeister or actually even DMR Mark now, they would not be happy about you doing that on DMR Mark, but it is capable of doing it. <laughs>